We have converted a desert into a slab of concrete. And over the last couple weeks, we have been burying it in infrastructure to bring in all of the items we need. Because we are in hot pursuit of the last space elevator part, the assembly director systems. But we need thousands of items to put these things together. And even though we do have a lot of stuff, we need oh so much more. But hopefully, that's what we'll finish up today. By adding in all the rest of the train systems we need, and of course, getting the trucks on the roads. So hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where we are gonna be hitting the road today, building out the rest of our road infrastructure to gather up everything we need. Then, trains, chew, yes. No, roads, first and foremost. We have huge highways that are going to be gathering up all of the items around this desert, and we still have to grab more before we can really kick things off. And one of the things I have my eye on are those two normal quartz nodes just sitting kindly there in the corner. And since our highway is so conveniently close, we're just gonna bring the trucks over down this way, drive them on over to like a truck stop here, and then call it a day. With that all tidied up and cleaned, this is our last truck pickup location. But now, the real problems begin. A, how are we gonna fuel the trucks? And B, oh god, uh, eh. Okay, look, high key, I kinda goofed, okay? Pretty much my biggest goof since the nuclear power plant stuff. You see, I was kinda looking over the highway stuff, trying to build stuff and uh, connect it all together so we can figure out how to fuel the trucks and get all everything moving. Well, I was looking at the highways, and I noticed a small discrepancy, but it would seem I have placed the blueprint for this highway, uh, you know, like a foot off or something like that, half a meter. <sighs> yeah, small problem, except I made this mistake on the very first blueprint I put down. Meaning, this entire highway, the new truck station I just built, and the entire mine over there are misplaced. And this is cursed knowledge. I just can't unknow it. Uh, so, you know, there's only one real option, eh? We boop it. Oh, thank you, booping. Now everything's better, can't you tell? It's 100% worth, like, the five hours of my time. Look, we can place this here, and it's not off by a meter. The line's the line. It's all good. We can move on to actual things. Ah, gave me time to think about stuff, though. And I was thinking how we're actually gonna fuel all of the trucks. Uh, we've got a couple options. We need to have the trucks go from like mine areas and deliver them somewhere. Then we can just bring the package fuel that we made last time to all of the drop off locations. And that would fuel all the trucks. But that's boring. <laughs> we wanna have fun here. So instead, we are going to have all of the trucks go to gas stations. Is this efficient? No. Will a gas station be fun? Yes. So here we go. Shouldn't be all that difficult as well. We're gonna have to have a road beside the main road. So we have cars drive on the right side. So somewhere over this way, we'll have the stations. And then as the trucks are coming back this way, we'll scoot off to the right. There'll be a side road. And this is where the station will be. Important thing to keep in mind though, is that this highway will be busy, busy, busy because all of these pickup locations are probably gonna need like two trucks each. So what is this? This is already like eight trucks. And that's just one small section. So I guess we have to have a bit of a, like a, a parking lane for the trucks too. So let's plan this out then. The trucks need at least like a four by four space to turn and do activities. They're really big. So this will be like the turning out lane. Then right next to it will be the fueling space. And then for parking, they probably need like two tiles each. So that's one parking space, two parking spaces, three parking spaces, and then the turning in lane will be right there. Okay, that's a pretty big station. That's okay, plenty of stuff to decorate and it'll be a lot of fun in the end. Back to the station though, it will be over here. And since we are just refueling, we don't need to worry about like unloading or loading any actual material. So long as there is fuel just down here and the station is powered, any vehicle that drives underneath will actually get the gas. And you know what? I don't think I've ever really tried this before, but I don't even think the vehicles have to stop. So there's 22 fuel in here. If we just like zoom through, 
Oh yeah, look at that! We were, we, <laughs> we don't even have to stop at the gas station. Literally, if the trucks are just driving along the road, these can fill it fast enough with fuel that we don't need to worry about anything. Cool! You know, that's a pretty handy tip. Except we are not gonna do some kind of like NASCAR super fast refueling thing. No, we're still gonna have the truck stop for fun. Yeah, with the road and the parking spots, all we have to do is to bring the fuel over from way over in fuel storage over here. And yeah, this thing is practically done. Except I don't want it just to be a truck station. I want it to be more gas station. So it's the stuff for the vehicles and then the stuff for us. Like I want there to be a bin nearby that we can fill up with fuel canisters. And if we have fuel canisters nearby, we can refill our jetpack and we don't have to go all the way back for our storage supply room over there all the time. Be very convenient. Let's try and build the actual like station thing beside it. It can be like a little house or something. So we'd have like a bin in a corner, a couple walls and stuff, some windows so it's nice and bright, and of course a nice beautiful tar roof tied all together. Eh, yeah, looks kind of lame. First, we gotta paint it. This is a gas station, so of course we're gonna paint it the fuel color. Well, weird, don't get it, don't care. Then the front here looks kind of boring. Billboard. <laughs> that is way too big though, bud. Relax. How about just one random sign with some fun little details or something like that? And then I guess we need a name. Maybe a fuel fortress? Nah, this little thing isn't really a fortress. Gas and go? That actually is kind of good. I do like that, but eh, sounds like it's already trademarked. Wait, oh no, 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 not gas and go. Sip and scoot. Oh yeah, bud. Sip and scoot gas station. It's perfect. One oh, bud with a couple little details. It's the cutest little sip and scoot gas station ever. I love it. <laughs> Look at it. Changed up to some designs, got the paint to work, and I even did some interior stuff. There's no fuel. I haven't done the belt work yet, but it's so cute. Have some like shelves to get things. Maybe I can throw in some like inhalers or ammunition here. And it's actually walkable, which is awesome. But that wasn't a one and done, of course. We're gonna have to have a lot of sip and scoots around. Not only just for the actual trucks traveling on the highway, but maybe if we're driving around, we could stop by one. And so yeah, I had to build another one, of course, over for this highway. And it's designed the exact same way. Exact same interior, whole nine yards. Looking all nice and cute. Just it's a little high up off the ground, but as we get machines around here, that will hopefully not look as uh, strange. All right, so gas station problem solved. Massive highway being in the wrong location problem solved. What next? Well, we actually have to get the destinations for all the trucks now. So, again, the trucks are gonna be running up and down all these highways, but we have to have places for the trucks to drop off things. So the pickups are way over there, and how do we want this all to work? Well, we could just make sip and scoot style kind of stations just like this along the highway. That'd be kind of boring. We want there to be a lot of movement around here. So the trucks instead, or I don't know, gonna go this way? Sure. I want them to go and hit the terrain and follow it a lot. So we'll build two out here, start zooping in ourselves a ramp, and then for the stations themselves, well, I guess we could just have one off to the left here, paint the rest of the area, the asphalt. Okay, that's number one effectively done. We need at least four different drop-off points to deal with all the items over there though. So where do we go from here? Well, number one, we move that somewhere. Uh, number two, we've got the hill here. I, I guess we just go straight. Maybe we could have another truck stop right next door. Or maybe we could do something a little weird. You know what? I like weird. We're gonna do something a little weird. The trucks are gonna come down this way and then they're gonna go over this way. Then we could have a truck stop again on the left here. And then maybe even further down, we have the huge flat space, which will be perfect for even more stations. Got some stuff in the way there, but eh, we can figure that out. Yeah, no, this is great though. One of the best parts about the customizer is we can just lay out the stations themselves, just using the asphalt. So I guess we'll have like 
a two by three area for the turning in and turning out. There's the two spaces for the truck station and then another three spaces to turn out. And how many spaces is that in total? That is eight tiles, right? So if we can paint eight down this way, that's another station. I was not counting though, was that eight? <laughs> oh no, that was nine. All right, close enough. Trucks will come down this way, go to their stations. We can fit another station there. And yeah, one, two, three, four. Done with the truck stations. Awesome. But now we're beneath the highway. How do we get uppies? Where do we go? Uh, not to the right. There's gonna be a lot more trucks over there. To the left. I feel like this way is calling my name. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? Is this the unfinished intersection? Well, 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 well. This could be convenient. We could have the trucks just go all the way up to here. And now it turns this intersection kind of the loop back, which is, it, it's kind of weird. I guess then this can be like a one-way road. The trucks will just go in a loop, hit the right side of the road and go back down that way. The sip and scoot is right there for refueling and we're good to go. I, it kind of wastes this lane though, but maybe we'll use this lane in the future. <laughs> just uh, another thing I was thinking about is that the truck stations, this is only the beginning. We're just getting raw materials into this area right now. Who knows, maybe in the future we'll transport actual items. Like maybe we need wire from over there to go over there. Well, guess what? Beautiful highway infrastructure, ready to go. So perfect. That's practically done because we have the idea. Most things are always just an idea, right? You know, speaking of ideas, that's a good idea to have the highway maybe extend down that way. Because yeah, if we have items way over there, we need a way for the trucks to get there. And my eye is looking ahead and that platform looks like the same height as this platform. Oh bud, which it is. Fantastic. So this is gonna be another truck intersection, I guess. The trucks will go over this way and then, <laughs> well, I have no idea where else. Uh, that'll be a future kids thing. Uh, the idea is there though. There's obviously nothing in the way. We're really high up. So, okay. Uh, next problem, the pit. The pit here has a lot of truck stations. One, two, three, four, five, six truck stations. Plus the quartz one we just added in. So seven, where can we fit seven truck stations? Conveniently. Well, I'm gonna be blunt with you guys. This space right here, looking pretty enticing. You just have to move whatever this belt is to wherever else. And could we get rid of this? Can we do some more terraforming, please, maybe? Uh, no. Well, maybe like a little bit? Okay, yeah, just a little bit, kind of negligible though. Well, this huge flat space will still work. And now we just need a hill for the trucks to come down. So I guess they could come off the side of the highway here. They're gonna be driving this way, so they're gonna be on this side of the highway. We'll break off, they'll go down a hill, and then, I don't know, maybe the trucks can go in some kind of like loop, have some truck stations way over there, and hey, that might just be it. And well, you know, kind of and not really. The trucks are gonna come down this hill, go around this loop, and then through this way, through all the seven truck stations, go back to that one way we built before, and then head back onto the main highway. You might notice there are a few problems there. Number one, we have a huge hill that goes into a turn. Probably gonna be a little scary to drive, but that's, you know, handleable. Bigger problem is if all of the trucks are going down this way, up that hill, and then back on the right side of the road, the gas station's on the left side of the road. So we're not gonna have trucks go on some crazy loop-de-loop -loop to go pick up fuel and then head back to Dodge. No, <laughs> we want the gas stations on the right side of the road. So I've built another sip and scoot way over that way, where it should be. Which, you know, it's good and bad. Good because it fixes this problem we have. And no, more good because now we have an extra sip and scoot if we want to drive around, which is kind of convenient. And now with everything set up, it's time to sip and scoot. So I got a sip of water to get the fuel production actually online. Scooted the power along all of our highways, 
to get the truck stops to actually fuel the trucks. And now we actually get to drive the trucks and set up their pathing. So I've done a lot of detailing and I've thought about how we're going to go about this. And since there are going to be a lot of trucks driving all over the place, uh, we're going to start every single truck at their input stop. So that when we're done recording, we can leave it there and then start on the next truck. Let's kind of start at a goofy station like this one. Ugh, why did I make it like this? I don't know. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead, stop this. Start recording. Let it load. That way we have the appropriate wait time there. And now we begin. So quite a bit of planning has gone into all of this. A lot of loops are all over the place. And if we're just doing every truck one at a time, it shouldn't be that big a deal. As long as nothing messes me up, like a tiny rock or a fairly aggressive turn. Okay, though, so we slow right the heck down. Go down the one way here, slowly. I should have given myself more space to drive. Okay, you know what? I regret that, That's I super regret this. Two by two space, not enough. Make it like a three by three space for the trucks to operate. Like the two by two, you see it works. It's just not fun, man. <laughs> Stressful. So far, so good. Iron has been dropped off. We scoot through here, over there, and off to the straightaway to get back to the highway. Now we could just turn back the way we came. Oh gosh. <laughs> but so the throughput's okay. We want all of the trucks to be flowing in the same direction so they don't stop or crash or do anything else goofy. So slow it down. Take a left. <laughs> all right, looking safe. Up the hill, back onto the main highway. Now for the final boss, the sipping scoot. Like I was saying earlier, I really regret these like two by two turning areas. Look at this, just no space for nothing. Okay. Managed it. Stop. We don't actually need to stop for any amount of time, but we just will for fun. Then we go carefully. Don't cross into the other lane. That's going to cause an accident. And okay, home free. We can go beep. Oh, wait. No. The truck station itself. It's super weird. The last secret raid boss. Oh, no. Still always go slowly don't skid out or something weird Whew. we did it all right good let's save that and then we'll leave the truck there because we have to do that for the other three stations around here but no that was a good warm-up these other ones should be pretty straightforward let's go and head to some of the more difficult truck stations which are all these ones down by the pit and so we begin we start loading the products, the trucks drive to the end of this road, and they go in kind of this giant roundabout through all the truck stations. No biggie. Just gotta take it slow on some of these turns so you don't go into the other lane. There are going to be dozens of trucks probably using this road. So we do not want to cause a massive pile up. And up ahead here is a roundabout that is square. No biggie. And now, one of the scary things up here is with this desert, half of the desert is unloaded right now, and somewhere around here is like a loading point that causes a lot of lag. I think that was it actually. So, so it gets a little spooky, but there's a lot of room to turn here. So that wasn't too bad. Down the hill, picking up speed that we have to put down so we don't crash. Oh no! <laughs> I think that's Okay, that wasn't the worst turn in the world. We can delete some of the little blue nodes behind us, and maybe that can make the truck path work. I'm not gonna sweat it for now, though. We're just gonna take this truck, skewed it over into here, and we can unload. And off back to the main road. Jump into what will be this very busy intersection. Now this time, we take a left. And make one last stop over at the sippin' scoot. <laughs> that was so scary. All right. And with 
that, we are pretty much good. But okay, that is done. So now we just have to do that, you know, for every other truck station in the biome. Cool thing though about trucks nowadays is that after you actually finish recording one path at a station, you can send the truck on its merry way. And then if you need to fix the throughput, as in you need to transport the items back and forth faster, you can just add in more trucks to the system and you can load up the same truck path in a folder. Isn't that cool? So load it up and that will just follow the same path. Easy. That's a little out of the scope of things today. I just wanted all the paths set up so we could see the trucks running. And then once we actually have, you know, a factory built, we can actually figure out, hey, what's going on with, with the throughput or with the weird lag spikes. I don't know. I'm getting a new computer soon. It'll be adjusted. Anyway, these are all set up. So, uh, scoot. Fun fact, wasn't actually too bad either. Trucks all just kind of went on their way. I was okay taking things slow, getting into all the parking spaces and all that jazz. I would still really recommend like a three by three area for truck maneuvering, but you know, if you don't have the space, you're okay. Anyway, yeah, all the trucks are set up now. So we are just going to let them rip whenever they feel like it and let them deliver whatever they need to. Whoa, okay. Don't know what that truck was doing. <laughs> Interestingly, it is Heart ghost. Very, very weird. What? Stop leading by example. What the? What? Very interesting. Yeah, trucks are a lot different than they were back in the day. They really like to stay on their path. And even better, they don't actually crash into other trucks. Like they can see. Watch this. See? Trucks ahead of it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, it's going to crash, I guess. But then it'll just phase through. So it doesn't like ruin the truck route and have all that kind of stuff. Okay, all of the pit trucks are on route. It's probably gonna cause a traffic jam, but as we just saw, it'll be fine if there's a traffic jam. Probably. Let's see how the turns are going. Good. Are the trucks gonna respect my speed limits I set? Looks like it. We already have two down the hill. This one's not gonna crash. Nope. Kind of weird driving, but it works. All right, they're using the roundabout just fine. They're getting around just fine. That guy is just waiting for some reason. Not sure why. And then we have this last truck. My health. Just take a deep breath. It's fine. The trucks, they do be a moving. Though this truck in particular is going to be really weird. We have, okay, A, that happening. B, we have two Mark III miners and 1,200 quarts per minute going into one truck station. So even to get the normal throughput rate, we're gonna have to have two trucks running here. At the end of the day, because it's so far away, we're gonna have to have like four trucks running this route. But again, I guess that's something we measure. And for now, we take our free ride to victory. Let's go. Let's go forward. <laughs> What's, what, what, okay. I can ride this as it goes into ghost mode. That's unique. That, sir, the road. <laughs> The road's over there. Oh no, it's trying to steal my soul. No, it's just taking its own ghost road. Okay, how, how am I still on this? Why is it doing this? Physics, excuse me? Wait, there's another truck. Can the, the ghost isn't gonna hit that truck, right? Wait, am I a ghost? Is the truck gonna hit me? <laughs> okay, this is a fun adventure. Where do you want to go, ghost truck? Is is there something you want to show me? Oh, this? The slug? Yeah, slug's nice. Now we're, now we're going into the ground. Just gonna gently drop me off in the sand dunes. Oh, no. <laughs> what is going on? Yo, this is the best. Ghost trucks are legit. Wait, no, there's a wall. <laughs> no! Ghost truck is gone. It's gone to the other plane. Goodbye, ghost truck. You're the chosen one. Okay, well, that was fun. Wait, ghost truck, I see you. Wait, where, where are you going? Ghost truck, are you ascending? Are you going back to your plane once more? What? Wait a second. Is it rejoining reality? No way. 
And back once again to being a normal truck. But we know your secret, ghost truck. But we'll never tell anybody, don't worry. All right, with the other trucks rocking and rolling, haven't seen any major issues, or at least if there are issues, the trucks are ghosting around and everything works out at the end of the day. So yeah, trucks are done for now. Again, until we actually have more of a factory and numbers start appearing and yeah, things get a little more weird. But no, before we can build our factory, we still need more items, brother. We need to go out and grab everything else we can in this biome. So instead of using trucks for a lot of this stuff, we're going to be setting up more trains. Trains that will be going deep over that way to grab coal, a little bit more copper, and a few other things. Let's take a look. Uh, number one, there's some coal nodes over there. So we'll bring a train over that way. Probably nothing complicated. And the big thing is we need a big train going from the slab all the way to the beach to grab the coal here and this copper and a few other things. This of course is just gonna be like a bi-directional train. It's not gonna be anything super complicated. So honestly, probably just gonna boop it. Cause yeah, we've been doing a ton of train stuff over the last couple weeks. So just throwing it in. Again, just very basic systems. We bring the items to one location. We load up the train, set up a basic loop and off the stuff goes. But we had a couple other hiccups wherein I had to set up a few extra stations just because the items were just that awkward amount away from the slab. I was like, you know, may as well set up like a station here, the other one over there. That was kind of necessary for the coal and stuff. And then one more way over, what? Oh, no, just didn't load in. Yeah, one way over here. It goes down to the beach, grabbing Keterium and a few other things. And it's just a bit awkward to bring the trucks out this way. Like we'd probably have to build a highway and I just didn't want to. So now everything's centralized here and just goes over to there. Again, yeah, nothing was all that crazy. This is just a loop, just tried to make it look nice, tried to centralize the stations a bit. Over with the coal train here, try to make it neat by having it cross over some other train lines. So we had more trains close together. And then this train line over here is just off in the corner and living its best life. Like I'm always saying, the big idea is to add in tons of movement. So more trains, more trucks, more sipping scoots if we need them. And then eventually we'll actually start making things here. But for now, it is time for me to scoot. So I hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.